Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. Well, it's time to start thinking about cutting the grass. That means getting the lawn tractor ready to go. So let's get to work. Well, now that we've got the lawn tractor in the shop, the first thing I want to do is get the battery into it. Now I changed the oil and cleaned the filter and all that kind of stuff at the end of the uh, season last year. So we'll get the battery in. It's on the charger over here. I had the battery inside all winter. Uh, so we're just getting a fresh charge into it. We'll hook it up and see if we can get this beast to turn over. Now, one of the important things to keep in mind when you're installing a battery, you hook up the positive terminal first, then the negative, and then reverse when you're taking a battery out. All right, let's get this in place and see what happens. So positive is the red side. This is a tight fit down into there. I've already checked my oil and the oil is good, but just to make it a little easier for this start, I'm gonna manually turn this so we are back past the compression right there. All right, let's see what happens. So, we'll give it full choke. Throttle all the way up. Doesn't sound like it's got much of a charge. Nope, we got a problem. So I'm going to uh, hot boost it from the charger and hopefully that will get it turning over. Okay, here we go. Boy, something's not right. Maybe I just had a loose connection. All right, we'll keep our fingers crossed and try that. Nope. You know, I think I got a charger issue. All right, folks, it looks like I may have a problem with my charger, unfortunately. I plugged my trickle charger in and it is charged right up. So according to it, the battery is good and ready to go. Had the trickle charger, or I had my main charger here on for 24 hours. It did nothing. Uh, I tried to boost from the charger and that did nothing. So I think it looks like I'm screwed when I uh, take, try to take a meter reading off of the charger. I'm getting nothing. So, not good. And unfortunately, my air filter is quite dirty. I didn't realize it was that bad. So I've got a new one on order. So what we're going to do here is attempt to start the tractor here for the first time this year. Now that I've got a fully charged battery, uh, we'll make sure that it does start before we go any farther. All right, let's get that going. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Clutch throttle all the way up. I see the lights have come on.
so we're good there. All right, we'll let that warm up for a couple of minutes. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. So that's good, we're in good shape with that. But today I'm facing a bit of a dilemma. I need to get the sawmill going again. I need to get those 10 foot logs up there done. But the temperatures are getting high enough that I also need to get the winter tires off of the Jeep. Because as soon as you start getting up to warmer temperatures, the soft rubber on your winter tires will wear really quickly. That's not a good thing. I also need to get the uh, deck for the lawnmower down here and cleaned up and mounted. And I still have the problem with my uh, weed trimmer to work out. I've got a feeling I've got an electrical issue with this. I tried to start it with a little bit of quick start shot into it and it didn't fire at all. So I've got to pay a little more attention to it and get it done. And of course, I have got the chipper that I need to get assembled and installed on the back of the tractor because I have jobs lined up for it that I need to get done. <laughs> the next job I've got on the list I've got to clean the yard up and get it ready so I can cut the grass. That includes getting this cable here rolled up and put away. This is what powers my uh, roof edge heaters. And I've got a couple of other odd jobs that need to be done. Things picked up and cleaned up that uh, I have to get put away. And then I've got this weird thing that's happened in the uh, power shed over here, I'll show you. Look at all the straw on the floor here. And I look up and right along the edge of the center beam, I can see straw sticking out. And this developed pretty much overnight. It's and, the, and it's all the way along the beam. So at first I was thinking, well, it is nesting season and robins are going crazy building nests everywhere, but I can't see how they can do that uh, in there. So I'm thinking mice, but holy mackerel to build a complex that big that quickly. I don't really know how to get to them to get rid of it. So. What I have done is I've uh, taken a can of Hornet spray and sprayed the heck out of it up there, hoping that uh, it will poison it too badly for them and they really won't like it up there and they'll leave. We'll see what happens. Another job on the list. But as is usually the case, there's never enough me to do all these jobs. <laughs> And there's a bunch of stuff that needs to happen in fairly quick succession here. Okay, so I've made my choice. I'm gonna start with the Jeep. Let's get to work on that. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like. And I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any thoughts, questions, suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. There's the first job done. Now, if you're doing this yourself, make sure that after you've changed your tire and done a little bit of a drive, not more than 100 kilometers, check the torque on your wheel nuts to make sure they have held. Now, the steel rims aren't too bad, but aluminum rims are a bit notorious for these nuts coming loose. So, 
100K at the most, probably 50K at the least. Make sure everything's tight. Well, we're slowly getting through the jobs. My next job is to uh, get the lawnmower deck ready to go. Now it's still full of grass, obviously. I've taken the nuts off of here, so I'm gonna take the blades off and get them sharpened and then scrape all this grass out of it. Now, one of the things I like to do is paint underneath here. Now, to me, it doesn't matter what you use. I, I'll just use whatever bits and pieces of spray paint that I have left uh, and layer it in here really thick. And this deck is still, despite being over 20 years old, this deck is still in really good shape. So I just use a paint scraper for this job, but I do grind an edge on the scraper. Well, there's the inside with a really, really heavy coat of uh, rust paint that I just put on. It's not automotive, so <laughs> it doesn't have to be pretty. I just want it in there thick. All right, next step is to get the blades sharpened and get them back on here. So I got one more job on my odd jobs list that I want to get done, and that's to get this hay off of here. Now I thought it would be a good idea and would work. I have seen it done before, but for me it didn't work very well. So in a past video you would have seen, I'll put a link to that video uh, up here, you would have seen uh, a very good sized tandem dump truck load of topsoil brought in here last year and I spread it. Now this was right just before winter. I spread it and seeded it and then threw hay on top of it hoping the hay would help hold the seed in place. Well, the very next day we got very high winds. A lot of the hay and I think a lot of the seed just got blown away anyway. So here we are in the spring and we have two days of uh, rain coming up, fairly light rain. Like there's not gonna be much of an accumulation and the winds look like they're not gonna be too bad. So I think it's going to be just about perfect conditions to uh, rake this hay away, kind of rake the uh, earth up a little bit and then put down some fresh seed. So let's get going on that.
Well, that certainly looks tidier. All I need to do now is spread some seed. Well, that's always a fun little job getting that deck off and on, but it's done. So that's another job out of the way. I still have to replace the air filter. I have uh, a new one on order, but it's not here yet. It'll be a couple of days, I imagine, for that. But that's fine. The only other thing I've got left to do here is uh, get my tires up to pressure. And then we're going to uh, put it up in the power equipment shed. So it's been a very busy day, but we've got a lot done. And I'm quite pleased with the progress we've made. We're supposed to get another nice day tomorrow. So if that is the case, then I think I can get back to the mill. So the plan is to get up there and get more of those 10 foot logs done. I will be glad when all of the milling is done. That is a big job. And when it's out of the way, it's really gonna take the pressure off of me and make it feel like we are making some headway. But for now, We've done really good. I'm very pleased. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And if you have been enjoying these videos, please give it a like and share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. So for now, remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.